Nine survival myths that could actually hurt you. There are many rules out there explaining how to behave in emergency situations, but are all of them really effective? In fact, some of those survival tips are myths that are not only useless, but also potentially dangerous. Myth number one. If you're bitten by a snake, you need to suck the poison out. In fact, snake venom enters the bloodstream extremely quickly, and it doesn't accumulate at the bitten area. Trying to suck it out is ineffective. Moreover, if you put your mouth on the bite, you might get venom into your mouth and esophagus. The better solution is to get to the hospital as quickly as possible. To prevent poison from moving through the bloodstream, a bite victim should remain calm, keep the wound below the level of the heart, and drink plenty of liquid. Myth number two. If you get lost in the forest, you need to find some food immediately. In fact, this is not entirely true. A healthy person can live without food for quite a long time, up to six weeks. Your first priority is actually to find a source of safe drinking water and build a shelter where you can hide from extreme weather. Talking about the shelter, do you know how to build a great one? Here is the myth number three. A lean-to is a great shelter from bad weather. In fact, just building a lean-to isn't enough. Before you get started on a suitable shelter, you should assess your surroundings and weather conditions. You need a shelter that can protect you from the wind, rain, or scorching sun. That's why you should build up a layer to insulate you from the cool ground at night. Myth number four, the fluid in a cactus can save you from dying of thirst. In fact, only some types of cacti provide relatively safe drinking water. You can also get moisture from the cactus named Apuntia, but most of the time, cacti are poisonous. Drinking their fluid will make you sick, causing you to vomit up precious liquid and leaving you more dehydrated. Myth number five, if you encounter a bear on the trail, play dead. In fact, bears don't want to attack, much less eat you. All they want to do is just to protect their territory. So if you suddenly see a bear, stop and back away slowly, keeping a close eye on the bear. Also, keep your distance. This will show the bear that you don't have any pretensions of its territory. Myth number six, if an animal eats something, you can eat it too. In fact, some berries and mushrooms that are deadly to humans aren't poisonous to many animals and birds. So you can eat only those berries and mushrooms you can accurately identify as edible species without a doubt. Myth number seven, moss grows on the north side of a tree. In fact, moss can grow on all sides of a tree. It depends on environmental conditions. Don't rely on this popular myth while trying to find your way out of the forest, or you will get lost. Myth number eight. If someone gets hypothermia, you need to put them into a hot tub. In fact, never do that. Also, never rub the frostbitten areas because this may cause further tissue damage. You also shouldn't use hot water or a heating lamp to warm the victim. Instead, you should warm the person's core up gradually in order not to cause shock to their body. Use blankets and place some warm water bottles under their armpits. Finally, the last one, myth number nine. If a shark attacks you, you should punch it in its nose. You might have heard this myth in some movies or news. Even if this is true, not many people have enough strength to do this, especially underwater. In fact, eyes and gills of the shark are much more vulnerable. Also, try to put a solid object between you and the animal, for example, a diving mask or swim board. So, what is the most dangerous situation you have been in? What helps you to survive? Let us know in the comments below. And if you're visiting our channel for the first time, click subscribe to stay on the bright side of life.